I'm Dan Hamilton and I'm a third year apprentice. I'm Taylor Lightbourne and I'm a fourth year apprentice and this is the 1942 MGB81. Bertha has been synonymous with yacht services and yacht building since 1877 and as a result we have a wealth of knowledge and experience in this area. With a hundred skilled craftsmen at modern boatyard facilities in Limington in the south of the UK, Burton has the ability to deal with all aspects of yacht and motorboat repairs, refits, maintenance and servicing. With every project at Burton, we will bring on apprentices to learn different methods and techniques in boat building, whether it be on the construction of a race boat, a steel army workboat, or a 1942 World War II gunboat. Burton's apprenticeship programme has been established for more than 100 years and today many of our employees have been with us for their entire careers and with others returning after a stint elsewhere. Here you will see a couple of Burton apprentices gluing up individual planks before laminating to create the shape of the new hull frames. Each new frame is made up of 12 planks made from a flexible light ash and a heavier stronger mahogany. These are glued together to make a strong and flexible frame. Every pair of frames is different shape as the curve of the MGB hull becomes more pronounced as it gets closer to the bow. This meant that every time a new set of frames is laminated, the jig has to be adjusted, even if it is only by a few millimetres. After the main shape has been formed, a template is set up along the original beam's position and a more accurate shape is taken. This is then placed in the jig and clamped in place to create the correct curve. Once it has had time to fully dry, it is cut into two halves to form two individual and identical frames, one port and one starboard. The process is repeated 24 times to create the 48 frames. This is a perfect teaching opportunity for apprentices since spiling and making up laminated frames for old wooden craft is not an everyday ask in modern boatyard. When it comes to replacing an old plank or panel, the most obvious way is to copy it by simply tracing around the old one. However, getting an old plank out without breaking or distorting is much easier said than done, especially one that is water damaged and rotten. This is when we would use a template created from a piece of timber roughly cut to the shape of the original frame. A spiling block will then be run along inside the hull against the template in order to copy the general shape. Spiling can be an art form in itself, it is generally used in carpentry and shipbuilding when the dimension is taken from a straight line, a mould's edge or a rule star to any given side or curve of a plank's edge. The template is lifted off and laid out on the new timber to be cut. The marks are then transferred in reverse using the same spiling block. A continuous line using a fairing batten then joins these points. The frames are then cut to shape ready to be fitted.
Don't forget to watch out for part two or we will be fitting the hull frames.